Hard work is totally overrated. Because when working on the wrong things out of avoidance, no matter how many 14 hour days you put in, it's just spinning wheels. In this project, I now have 12 days left before my business goes broke like parents when their kids start in college. So being smart about work is more important than ever. But there are some mental blocks that keep me from doing the most important work because it's just outside my comfort zone, but more on that in a minute. Today is about four things. First, I needed more clear numbers to aim towards and came up with more explicit definitions of three goals at least. Second, I will now always mention what I improved in this current video compared to the last one. Then third, I did in fact now create a small Discord community to chat about topics like creating software products and entrepreneurship and all the struggles that come with it. And fourth, it's about why it can be so hard sometimes to do a task even when this task is the only one we should be doing. Okay, then first to the goals. Yesterday I realized I needed to have more tangible numbers I can work towards. And like most know, for quite a while I've been trying to make some income with another product, a web-based video editing tool. But now I'm down to these few days. And the problem all that time was, amongst other things, that I was in lack of clear goals and KPIs. But now with this project, with the super limited time frame I have left, I'm forced to prioritize like crazy. And for this, explicit goals are really needed. And with goals, we should always separate between input and result related goals. And input goals are, for example, how many hours do we want to speak on a given task? Or how many words do we want to write? Or how many posts we want to publish in a week? And these are goals that are entirely in our control. Result related goals in opposite are, for example, how many upvotes do we get on the product hunt launch or how many sales can we make with the app. And here we can move the needle, but it's not fully in our control. So the result related goals I always take with a grain of salt and don't beat myself up over not reaching them and take them more as a motivation and guidance. And the goals I thought of yesterday were first to make 10 sales with the app by 5th of June because I moved the product hunt launch behind, which is a result-oriented goal. Then to get among the first three on product hunt, like I talked about in the last video, also result-oriented. And then third, to connect and talk to five people at least a day on the LinkedIn project, which is an input-related goal and fully in my control. Second, the only way to get good in making videos is to do, do, do to get the reps in and improve something every time, even if it's just a small thing. Since it's a nice skill to make interesting content, I wanted to follow that advice and to keep myself accountable for this, explain shortly in every video what I improved compared to the last video. So, and in this one today, it's the opening lines, which is also called hook. It's, I hope, less yuppy and more punchy and It's always that most people click away in the first 30 seconds of a video. So in this time, it's the most important that the show is good. And then I also improved the thumbnail. This X days until broke feels a bit stale now. I will use a different main title line and then use this X days until broke as the secondary title. And I try with a different mic today because I always use this video mic pro which usually is on top of the camera but i use an extension cord and the advantage of this one is that it connects directly to the camera so the audio recorded from this mic is, is included in the video recording right away but i feel that it has a bit of a muffled sound so i try now with this the yeti whatever mic that a lot of people have this is a usb mic however so i need to record on a separate device but i think the sound is much better from this microphone so i'm giving that one a try third i created a little discord community and the link to it i will put in the comments under this video i remember some people asking about it already two weeks ago but part of me wondered if this would really be so interesting to people this is also in addition to the fact that it would be yet another platform for me to manage but i then talked with jan and he said it would be said it would be great to have such a discussion space for video files so when people have questions or remarks they can come there and yesterday i came more and more to the conclusion that even if it's only five people chatting in there about entrepreneur stuff or having an idea for the video file software or a question that it would already be super totally worth it 
So after I had already scrapped the idea two weeks ago, I've now created the Discord an hour ago and see you there if you're interested. And fourth, two quick cents on why it's sometimes so hard to do important work. Just imagine you build the MVP, the minimum viable product of the software. Imagine programming is the thing that you're good in and that's comfortable work because you know the ins and outs of that. And then imagine you're finished with this step and, and now you need to move on to the next one and start finding customers or first just even people who'd be willing to test it for free. This work usually always requires to reach out to people which can be outside of your comfort zone because now it's getting real if your product has a chance to survive or not because now feedback is coming in and you see if the world is actually interested in what you have to offer. And then it's like a natural tendency to gravitate back towards the more comfortable work that you know and just go back into cozy development mode. And then you can work as hard as you want, day and night, build more features, improve the design more, but nothing of this will bring you any bit closer to your goal. The only thing right now that's needed to do is to step out of the comfort zone and start with the unpleasant work of getting rejections in. Because there is no way around getting rejections to also get some yeses. And this to me right now is the roadblock. And I think this is also much harder in the beginning and gets easier over time when you have had some successes and you're just more confident with your work. Right now it's more just courage needed and the confidence cannot be there yet. And all of this is just a little note to myself to do this work and to step out of the comfort zone here. Okay, and that was just a little pep talk. So until the next video, I will set the goal to have reached out to some people and have gotten some feedback, let's say five people. And this I think can also help with the goal of getting among the first three on Product Hunt. By the way, I talked about this in detail in the video yesterday, which will show here. And then that's it for today. Stay awesome and see you tomorrow.